The land we're on was sustainable when we came here. And 30, 40, 100 years from now, we want to be able to say that we've kept it sustainable. And land is not manufactured. We have what we started out with. There's not going to be any more. And we want to leave the land for future generations, just as it has been for the past generations. The pork industry has become very efficient in recycling our waste products. The raw manure goes into a lagoon and has water in it. Bacteria naturally digest and break down the manure into a substance we call effluent. In that fluent, we have phosphorus, we have nitrogen, of course, water. And that effluent is then applied to our fields. And in doing so, it adds to the sustainability of the land in that we are participating in the nitrogen cycle, the phosphorus cycle, the water cycle, the whole nutrient cycle that's taken up by plants and then removed uh, by grazing with cattle and providing more animal protein than what the land by itself would normally produce. If you look in a dictionary and look at the true meaning of sustainability, it's what we're practicing here. The resources that we use to produce pork and we're putting it back into the environment to work as it would naturally work. And by doing so, we're actually increasing the production of animal protein more than what the land would normally produce on its own. It's a simple biological fact that people require protein. We can get protein two ways, from plants or animals. Many people desire and want to have the freedom to put animal protein in their diets. The only way that can happen is through farming. Whether we're doing plant protein or animal protein, it all has to be farmed. Agricultural practices are a necessity for humanity. It's that simple.